This man is planning for a post-petroleum future, a future where plastics still play a major role. Bernard Rieger is chemistry professor at Munich's Technical University. So let's say CO2 is not something that at symposia and trade fairs, he brings together politicians, scientists and members of the public to drum up support for his vision. Plastics made from a revolutionary new natural resource, carbon dioxide. Someone has to tackle it. The industry is obviously occupied with making money. These are difficult times. Everything's moving so fast. So I think having a university advocate is a good thing. It's not easy to get CO2 to undergo reactions. Carbon dioxide is a combustion product and a highly inert compound. The chemists in Munich solved that problem by combining the CO2 with unstable energy-rich molecules known as epoxides. And they add a catalyst to direct and speed up the reaction. The CO2 streams directly from the cylinder into the reactor. And after just a few minutes, the product is already visible polypropylene carbonate, a plastic in high purity. The magic word here is catalysis, like the catalyst in cars that helps convert exhaust gases into less harmful substances. Or nature's catalysts, the enzymes that speed up biological reactions. The principle is very simple. Two molecules that won't react speedily with each other do so in the presence of a suitable catalyst. It brings the two reagents conveniently close together and it survives the process unchanged. It helps the reaction swiftly generate long chains of molecules called polymers, which are the building blocks of plastics. Using this method, CO2 could be turned into high-quality plastic. And different catalysts will yield different products. So in principle, Bernard Riga could create all kinds of designer plastics with different properties. As the polymer chain grows, we change the arrangement of these methyl groups. I'm taking them out here and sticking them back in differently. Suddenly, the spatial arrangement of these groups has changed. You can feel the difference. When we synthesize this material, we move away from this one. And then we suddenly have a polypropylene, a rubbery material. The plastic made in the lab is 50% carbon dioxide. The reaction is efficient and the material is pure enough to undergo further industrial processing, like any other plastic. But the material does have another special quality. It's biodegradable. The researchers envision agricultural foils that can stay on the fields after the harvest. Other industries are taking notice. The versatile plastics of tomorrow could be used for beverage bottles or baby pacifiers without unhealthy softeners. Industry experts are keeping a close eye on the exciting developments in Bernhard Rieger's lab. But they say they need to stick with petroleum chemistry. Other processes are too expensive. But 60 years ago, when plastics were first made from petroleum, few thought it would turn into a vast industry. CO2-based plastics will also experience a breakthrough. Bernhard Rieger is convinced of it.